Hello and welcome back to Grimco r and I'm Mar28 and I am really glad to be playing again. I tell you, right now as I sit here, it is approximately uh, about 2 in the morning on, let's see, today is the 20, what is this? It's the 29th now. And I am so glad December is almost over. So, so, so glad. It's been a real busy past few uh, weeks. So much so that by the time I get on the play, I just kind of fall over. And yeah, I tried recording one or two episodes. You don't want to listen to uh, Zombie Mallrat. Zombie Mallrat is not entertaining. I've tried it before. I've pushed myself through and recorded. It's no bueno. Um, anyway, you really didn't miss much around stuff happening around in Grimco for this area. I've not really progressed much. Uh, we're going to change that today. I need to go ahead, check around, see if anything has been left, because I happen to know there was. We were just over by it. Um, I also need to check out that chest in there, which is, I think, from the same person. <laughs> and uh, I need to get some stuff together. What I would like to do today is at least get started making a pig farm. Um, we're basically going to uh, raise these precious little animals, grow them up, feed them nice and full of some carrots, and then slaughter them for their delicious, delicious pink slime so that we can make a uh, mining lens thing. It's, it's weird. For uh, industrial foregoing, right, they, you actually have to have pink slime to make a laser lens. It's pink slime and glass. It's, it's weird. I don't know why, but whatever. I could think of much better lubricants. <laughs> And apparently it's also needed now to make the stonework factory. So I'm glad I crafted a few of those ahead of time. Ah, this is a terrible time for my nose to itch. Ah. Uh, anyway, so we got a chest in here. This just says, from Russia with love. I think this is from the Dark Preacher. I'm, I'm pretty sure I might have made an off-color joke, and I think he thought it was... Uh, I'm just gonna tell you right now, I'm pretty sure there's Gerardi in here. <laughs> pretty sure. Gerardi, yep. Yeah. And a white bed. Oh. <laughs> so much pee. Oh, that's, that's terrible. That is absolutely freaking terrible. Uh, the good news is, he did leave another gift, and as far as I'm aware, the other gift is much nicer. It's even wrapped, too. Check this out. He, uh, it looks like, I think there's a chest in here, right? He basically covered it with bits. See if we can crack the top. Yeah, there we go. And we get a stack of diamonds. That's so, so kind. Actually really neat. All right, so what I'm thinking for these little piggy piggy piggies, there's a few spots where I can do this. I think what I want to do is I actually want to repurpose the area over here that Preacher had set up our little uh, Christmas gift at. Flatten this out, basically. Tear out this platform and level it out so that it's just one flat area. And we're going to reuse this as a uh, pig growing area. I, it's, I can't think of a nice way to say it. We're going to kill them, okay? We're going to kill them repeatedly to the dead and delicious. Um may later, at a later point, find something to do with the meat ingots, but for now it's not really that much of a uh, priority. The big thing is going to be the slime. The wonderful, delicious, ooey gooey, nasty slime. Just like mom used to make. And if she heard me say that, she'd probably hurt me. So, so relaxing. Though I'm pretty sure you probably don't want to see me do this. I will be back as soon as this area is leveled out, ready to go. All right, welcome back. So I've gotten most of this place torn up and filled in. I actually ran out of dirt. I don't know how that happened. I had a surplus, but I'm out. And I think I'm okay with that. Well, I'll deal with this later. Uh, for now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get started with the, uh, the piggy pen, which is going to be over in this area. I probably should... Hey, go away. 
I was going to say, I should probably sleep and get rid of this night and maybe kill the storm. But you know what? Forget it. Let's do this in the thunderstorm. I think I've already been struck once. <laughs> I didn't get it on camera. It didn't kill me, though, which was amazing. It just set me on fire. <sighs> bright, bright ideas that I do have. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and start things off, as you, of course, always do with a solid wall. And this is just basically something that we can put the baby separator in so that we don't have to actually uh, see it. <laughs> Suddenly building with wood doesn't seem like a great idea. Uh, anyway, though, so we want the baby animal separator. Show working area. So it pulls in that area, right? So it's facing the wrong way. For that, I need a wrench. There we go. So we want it facing this area. So this basically defines the area within which, within which, speaking, speak, speak gooder, uh, <laughs> within this area, the pigs should be. And we want to make sure that. Uh, now that's that's too little space if we do it that way. We'll allow it to be a little inefficient. I really don't think I should connect. Alright, so that is going to be our pig area. They'll do many things in here, mostly though they will die. It's all very sad, very tragic. Uh, can this take range upgrades? does not look like it so okay we'll just leave that as is uh, we also have the animal feeder now I think this guy is uh, it works like this has to be set into the wall I don't know what kind of range this thing has let's put it over here for a second working area that is perfect, actually. I'll just need to think of something to disguise this. Disguise it? Oh no, what are you doing? Alright, so this is going to be the pig area. To uh, get the power and to get the power and the carrots in here, I think what I'm going to have to do is make some more of the signal plated item ducks so that we can do them both from the bottom. It's probably going to be the best bet. Uh, this guy just needs power, so it's not really too terrible to deal with. And what's going to happen is all the piggies that come in here are going to end up more or less on the side until they grow up. Uh, we have a mob slaughter factory, this guy right here. Uh, what it will do is pretty much kill anything that wanders into its main area. Uh, we don't want to... Can we just the range on this one? No. So sad. So, so, so sad. I do like that it's easy to designate which way the slime goes, though, so that is actually really helpful. I didn't think about that. Good job there, industrial foregoing. Good job. Let's pick you up. <laughs> uh, let's pick you up with a pick. Yeah, there we go. So that gets me the main slaughter area. It really doesn't matter to me if we have a little bit of overlap on this. I just want to make sure that everything here can stay here and doesn't die. Um, we don't necessarily need the entire kill area here. So I think what we'll do is just leave that there for now. And we will uh, just put a small... Whoa. Get out of here. I should probably cure you, actually. Just need a weakness potion to do that. See, there's a heavy over there. I'm going to play with fire. Uh, during the past few days that I wasn't here, I made myself a bow. Infinity, multi-shot four, and power five. Multi-shot four means this thing fires off like four arrows at a time. Power five already does a lot of damage. Oh, I don't have any arrows. <laughs> So, so close. <laughs> yeah, 
one shot. <laughs> Apparently, if these guys get one shot, they don't seem to aggro their teammates. They're just like pigmen. No gun, though. No. Okay. The bow is so stupid. It's so fantastic and so, so stupid. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Alright, so that's where they're going to be kept. Uh, we can stop showing I'm good, and I believe this is you, right? You can stop showing we're good. All right. So general working space. Pigs live here, breed here. They come over here. They die here. They get turned into delicious meat over here. So that's good. But we also need carrots. And for that, we have to have a plant sower. And plant gatherer. The plant gatherer is going to be below ground, actually. Uh, do we just want this, like, in a row? I mean, does it matter? No, probably not. Because if we do that, what we can do, actually, is... Uh, put the gatherer, like, right here, right? What is your working range? So, literally, it's just going to be a little 3x3. Three three. Um, I know you can make upgrades to these. Range upgrades, or is it... Yeah, range upgrades. They're not that bad. But I don't think I need that many carrots, though. Tell you what, let's make some Tier 1 Lapis upgrades. That'll make it to a 5x5 five five area, which means we need this thing right here for the... Uh, Sower. We also need to add a down below section so that we can actually get to this. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be great. I swear, this visualization thing is like one of the best things ever. We really don't need any more than one stack of carrots in here, so we can just lock these to empty. Let's see, energy items, seed input. And luckily, carrots are both the plant that's harvested and the seed, so it works out great for what we want to do. That's why we're using pigs, so we don't have to worry about sorting out wheat and seeds and all that stuff. They love the carrots. So we're going to leave that right there. That's good. We're going to have these guys. We need to very quickly I'm going to leave this open for the moment basically what I want to ensure is that I have a walkway under here so that I can uh, run cable and stuff without being a claustrophobic nightmare oops it's too much dirt <laughs> okay let's Uninfuse that. Un, uh, unempower, whatever you want to call it. I think one more on each side should be enough. And this really isn't going to have anything down here. This is just so that I can walk around running cable without like hitting my head every five minutes. This is purely a uh, lazy thing. Got dirt. <laughs> That's a swapping wand. There's the illumination wand. There you go. We might leave an access point to this underground area from the thing that I'm going to be making. I kind of think I want to uh, make the, make that without showing you guys and just show you the results as a surprise. I know my buildy episodes are not the most entertaining episodes, and I do like to do it still. So, rather than have you all go crazy, I will uh, 
subject only myself to the tortures that is my design and planning. So that's exposed. That's good. This one we will leave here for now. We don't really need to configure that yet. Um, what I do need to get is a signalum plated. I need two. Actually, I don't need two. Two would be nice. Two is not required. All right, so let's check this out. Signalum plated. Sig, not sing. Fluid duct. Oh, so close. So it takes. Oh, I I have it. There we go. Can I just do it that way. I shouldn't have broken down the stupid uh. Let's do it this way. Hooray. Uh, my bag of tricks here. Do you have in your possession flux stocks? We do. Hooray. All right. So when we set this up, the first priority for the plant gatherer is going to be to refill the seeds. After that, the next priority is going to be the animal feed. The way we do it that way is to ensure that we never run out of carrots here. We can't rely on distance being the thing since it's actually going to be gathering like right here, which means there's no real travel space. And I've got to make this look interesting somehow. I really don't know how yet. Hmm. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So anyway, on the bottom here, we have the signal plated item duct. This is going to be a filter. Does the filter let me set priority? No, just whitelist, blacklist. Okay, so let's uh, dun dun dun, wrench. Okay, so that's good. Over here we have the baby separator. So if the separator is here, the feeder is like what one, two. The two, two, three, four, five, four. <laughs> okay, so the actual feeder is right here. The feeder will take the pretty much the remainder of the. Mm, I'm just gonna dig up a little bit. Totally forgot about that. All right, so there we go. So each of these are sitting on plated. That means that I can actually have this flux duct come down here, connect to that, and we're just gonna leave that down here as a stub for now. Uh, we need some item ducts to connect the two of these. And then we're also going to have the flux duct come down this way to connect as well. I miss Ender I.O. cables so much. A standalone mod that was just Ender I.O. cables would be fantastic. I love the way they looked. All right, so this is the gatherer. The gatherer is going to need a servo to actively extract stuff, which we do not have on me because I failed to plan properly. Ah, the, let's see. Yeah, no, without any sort of, without the servo, there's really no doing anything yet. I do have a way to get power out here, though. We're not just going to run a massive line of uh, flux stocks, though we could do that. Um, one of the things that you can make in RF tools is an energy cell, and they actually let you rather easily make linked power networks between things. They're pretty cool. I never really got that much use out of them, but they're definitely pretty awesome. Definitely, probably pretty awesome. Uh, servo. Did I make you? How about you? 
How about you? Yeah, we'll do a reinforced. <laughs> I think Endearium probably would have been better. It definitely would have been quicker. And down we go. Okay, so that is the plant gatherer. So nearest first, furthest first. Okay, we'll tell it to do furthest first. Furthest first, we'll hit the plant sower because the animal feeder is literally right next to it, so that works out perfect. Uh, and this is going to be always active. Redstone, dis redstone disabled, that'll mean always active. That's good. We don't need to change anything else there. Uh, let's open a backpack. We have a power cell and a power cell card. It's crazy. Got stuff ready ahead of time. Not everything, just some things. Um, let's see. I don't have enough ducks for this, I think. We will need more at one point. All right, so that's good. If the separator's here, that means the slaughter thing is over this way. Ah, oh, so close. Again, so close. So that's gonna go down. That floor is actually gonna be replaced, but it doesn't matter for the moment. Yeah, this isn't enough. I just need to make one crafting of them. That's okay. And I think we'll put this like right here. So right now this has nothing, but as soon as we put, I think this in right here, it should link in with a cell that I have inside my tower. Power has been slowly building back up. I've uh, been trying to fill up my little flux capacitor I carry around. That thing is a power hog. All right, so that's running. That's good. This will build up sludge. I don't know what to do with it. I think I could just leave it and it'll just go slow and I don't care if that's the case. Um, sludge. I hate sludge. <laughs> uh, I do have carrots in here though. They're not going to grow though because I don't think they will till the soil. I might have to do that myself. Can you till? I think you can till. Oh, that's a path. There we go. <laughs> You are not getting power. Why are you not getting power? Oh, because I did not set you to do all sides out. There we go. Okay, so that did work. Um, I need water. Totally forgot about that. Crops grow way better when they have water. <laughs> this is officially gone way longer than I expected to do. Uh, let's see, water can. How about just a bucket then? Mr. Bucket. Ah. So we'll leave that there. And this is sneak right click and it will uh, hoe. All right, so yeah, these guys need the range upgrades. We'll make that real quick. Oh, we can also better pick, put our little biggies in here. There you go. You two have fun. I think what we'll do actually is we will uh, turn this off for now so that we can gain a few extra piggies. So the two in there, they can probably do, I think I want to have like four or five or however many for like the breeding pairs, even though I realize five is not a pair. Anyway, range upgrade, uh, range modifier, add on, okay. So I think tier zero actually makes the area smaller, uh, but the tier one lapis should be enough. We just need two of them. Ew, these things don't stack. That's nasty. I hate non-stacking items. 
tools make sense because they're a thing that you use, but like for these guys, there is no excuse. Alright, so do you just right click on the block? No, you go right here, right? Okay, and it hoes apparently, I'm just slow. So you can put a range upgrade on the animal feeder, you can put a range upgrade on the separator, and you can put a range upgrade, or in this case, if we wanted to, the little downgrade if we wanted. That is good to know. I think we should help nature along, though. Do we have any bone meal? B -b 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 bone meal. No. We do not. Saving the world. What? What? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Oh, that did no damage. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. It was nice knowing you all. Come back, turrets. I need you to save me. Oh, I can't run anymore. I can't run. <laughs> I can't run. <laughs> home bed was missing or obstructed. What do you mean my home bed was missing? Uh. All right, this is... I'm going to go ahead and make the walk of shame back home. I think this is a good place to cut off the episode. We'll work on this more a little bit next time. Uh, basically, we need to get the piggies going, breeding up the stock a little bit, and then work on the slaughtering. I'm thinking a nice little barbecue place, too. Might be kind of nice. Just playing around with the idea. And I hate the TF2 mobs so much. <laughs> Uh, anyway, if you have any questions about Grimco R&D or about this episode, please feel free to uh, leave a comment in the section below and I'll try to get back to you. I will see you all next time. Have a good day.